don't know I don't know I don't know why baby <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stacy, and today we're gonna be discovering what is ChatGPT and how to use ChatGPT for your everyday life. First of all, what is ChatGPT? So, ChatGPT is an AI model used for making your work easier like they are just artificial intelligence and chat gpt uses an interface just like for texting on your phone you can chat with this particular ai and it's very easy to use i'm going to be demonstrating here to you today when you want to use chat gpt you go to google you just write chat gpt like i'm doing here right now chat gpt ai it will take you directly to the Google interface. Now you can see ChatGPT openai.com. That is the first one you will see is the first one you're going to click and it's going to ask you like to put in your details. It has two versions, the free version and the paid version, but I feel like it's just one like one in the same. You're going to see a page like this. So if you have an account, you can log in. If you do not have, you can sign up. But since it's it's just a simple process to sign up. But since I have an account, I'm going to be logging in like that. And it's going to ask you for your email. So you're going to insert your email address in that particular manner like that. And then you're going to press enter to continue. And then you're going to input your password. Mm, for, secu for security purposes, of course, I'm not going to let you guys see my password. <laughs> you know? And then you're going to be set directly to the chat GPT interface. You can choose to save your password. It depends with what you're using. If it's your personal device, of course, you can save your password so that you do not have to input your password each and every time you log into the chat GPT. Yeah, so you see chat GPT, it's giving you like uh, like some tips for getting started. You have ask away, it can answer questions, it can help you learn, it can write for you codes. Like how amazing is that? It can brainstorm together with you and much more and then it's telling you do not share any sensitive info chat history may be reviewed da, 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 because it keeps a history of what exactly it is you're searching so don't go searching for hmm okay so you can check your facts it's asking you to check your facts because uh, it's saying chat GPT may give you inaccurate information and it's not intended to give advice especially in relationships for mental health those things are off the table when it comes to chat gpt chat gpt is simply for maybe just giving you a structure of something just giving you how things are supposed to be done da, 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 things like that the normal day to day not those complex complex subjects okay after that you can now dive in to your chat gpt so as you can see through the interface we have the chat gpt 3.5 then the latest one is the chat gpt 4 and you can see it's locked that one is a paid version so it's saying chat gpt 3.5 is the first model and great for like just like doing everyday tasks so as of as for me i don't see the need to go for the chat gpt 4 because chat gpt 3.5 just helps me with everything i need so yeah and chat gpt 4 it says our most capable model great for tasks that require creativity and advanced reasoning you see uh yeah, so if you require maybe advanced reasoning is when you can go for like chat gpt4 but I, I i'm just happy i'm content with the chat gpt5 so we have some things which you can search you see chat gpt written down here you have make a content strategy maybe for anything if you're a content creator you're looking for maybe how you do not know how to place like your content strategy you can use chat gpt to do so and then it can give you if you want ideas for maybe a party it can give you ideas for a birthday party for a kids birthday party for a kids bar mitzvah for kids anything 
if you want to explain something on sweet potatoes and another thing i noted about this chat gpt 3.5 is that it gives details for up to 2021 other than that it does not have any other details which are latest from 2021 that is another thing which i noted but the chat gpt4 and the those advanced ones they have they give the recent information so yeah we can and you can see the interface is very easy to use like even a class two person can do this yes yeah, so you see chat gpt has so many uses like the downside of ChatGPT is that it has taken a lot of our jobs, like people who are used to academic writing, people who are used to writing blog posts, people who are used to doing this on online businesses, like all of them have been taken, have been overtaken by ChatGPT because right now you just come here, right? You just, let me show you, let me show you for a minute. You just come here. You just come here on ChatGPT and say, uh, write me a blog post, a blog post, SEO driven for, for what? For a travel obsessed, obsessed audience. And you know, it's going to give you the exact Thing that you want you see uh, the title the introduction everything everything you need to know every even the SEO keywords it's giving you every single detail every single detail and of course I know some of you may may wonder you know there are so many other interfaces which can be used to detect AI work work that is not humanized and you know something else there is another tool which you can use to like undetect the AI thing and it's called Quillbot. I don't know if you've heard about Quillbot. It's like this. What I'm doing is Quillbot. So you just take this article, Quillbot for AI, it's also an AI. Or you can use, yeah, Quillbot, paraphrasing tool, Quillbot. So you just come here, you copy paste this this article that uh chat gpt has written for you or sorry don't do that you can copy from up here then you come to this paraphrasing tool which is the queer bot and then you just paste it here you just paste it there and then it's gonna paraphrase everything for you and you know and of course quill bot has like some restrictions you cannot go over some type some words over some words for the beginners but yeah it's easy you can just paste some you take little paragraph you paste it on quillbot it paraphrases paraphrases things like that making work very very easy for you to do so that's just another thing about ai which i like about chat gpt which i like and I have not exactly defined what ChatGPT is and of course I'm going to use ChatGPT to help me define what ChatGPT is <laughs> in simpler terms for those of us who have no idea what it is. Yeah, so ChatGPT is a super smart computer program that can have a text-based conversation with people it understands what you're saying and responds in a way that is helpful and informative for everybody and almost like having a chat with 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 someone who is extremely knowledgeable like who this scientist what are what are their names like albert albert einstein or that that's guy who is in a wheelchair stephen hawking yeah it's almost like having a conversation with a knowledgeable friend who knows a lot of things and of course it is trained to assist us with a wide range of questions and tasks and and it's just it's just here to actually make our work easier so yeah those are my few cents about chat gpt how you can use it how you can go through the interface and how you can go through it yeah and i'm gonna insert a link on my description box so anyone who wants to sign up with chat gpt to make your work easier you can use that link and yeah that's it for today if you like this video and would like so much more videos like this 
I will be very glad to show them to you and yeah to get you informed about these things because you know I was I was hosting a tech show once once upon a time in some radio station but yeah I can do it again here on YouTube and yeah without further ado I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please give it a like share comment anything and yeah i'll be sure to check it out and see what your views are so if you've not yet subscribed please make sure to subscribe my name is stacy i'll see you guys in my next video bye